All right, excuse me. The image you see in front of you is Sheriff David Clark Jr. And he is the sheriff of, of Milwaukee County, not Milwaukee City, Milwaukee County. This man gave a 20 plus minute press conference regarding the shooting of Seville Smith by a Milwaukee City police officer who happened to be black. Now, David Clark does not have any direct authority over the city of Milwaukee. Last night when there were riots, obviously, the city of Milwaukee police chief called out for help and obviously David Clark being in the county supplied officers in order to help with uh, the rioting, etc., etc. And that is his job. I don't understand why David Clark, who is not controlling the use of police officers, period, found it necessary to put his face in front of TV cameras for over 20 minutes when he is in a secondary role, not a primary role, a secondary role to the police chief of Milwaukee. Now that's number one. Number two, this man, for the first five minutes, decided that he was gonna make social commentary. That's not the job of the police chief. You don't make social commentary, you do your job. Now, if you're asked your opinion about certain situations, obviously, at that point, you're in a position to render an opinion. No, this guy volunteered five minutes worth of social commentary regarding the failed system and bad schools, bad parenting, uh, poor life choices, yada, 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 okay? And it was all directed at disparaging the black community. To call this guy a coon is an understatement. And I know a lot of people don't like the use of that word. I'm sorry, that's what this guy is. And in previous videos, I've made my feelings abundantly clear about how I feel about this guy. There have been others that believe that if David Clark could make a determination on what his skin color could be, he would be a white man. And I have to agree with them 100%. This guy is a self-hating black man who happens to be in a position of authority and is basically voicing the opinions of white racists and saying things out in the open that they only wish that they could say out in the open. All right, now that I've gotten that off my chest, he did a 20 plus minute news conference basically outlining pretty much almost blow by blow and, and adding uh, information that the police chief didn't even uh, give us. And then he gives us a blow by blow, minute by minute reading on the riots, excuse me, last night and what various police units were saying and doing and what various uh, uh, first responders were saying and doing. I mean, that was a huge waste of time. That could have, if he wanted to do that, he could have said, any, for anybody who wants it, you know, here's a uh, construction 
of what went down uh, during the riots. But no, he had to enunciate it so he could keep his, oh my God, bearded, and, it, and that's a, that beard is a Grecian formula on that beard, that Grecian formula bearded face in front of the camera. Now this guy supposedly is a Republican. I'm sorry, I take that back. He is a Republican, but he's a registered Democrat, and he's won re-election as sheriff, I guess, uh, four times being a registered Democrat, but he takes every opportunity to trash all the Democrats. I swear that this guy, he's an embarrassment to black people, period. Now, somebody had said he reminded them of a, uh, Stephen and Django as far as uh, serving uh, his uh, master and I believe that that's an adequate uh, description of this guy because I, I, this guy elicits such raw emotions of hate and disgust for him and for what he represents that it can't even be expressed. Normally, I'll play the uh, video of the news conference, but I'm, I don't want to subject you to that. It's out there if you really want it. I believe um, CNN normally uh, you know, has uh, stuff available on their site. You, if you want to see it, go for it. I mean, I, I watched it, and at 20 minutes, I, I just couldn't watch anymore, and I was thankful that they cut away while he was still talking because it didn't seem like he was anywhere close to being done. <sighs> Look, did the people that uh, rioted last night jump the gun? In my opinion, yeah, they did. Okay. Um, they jumped the gun, uh, I believe, because somebody lied and said the guy got shot in the back. And all they needed was a tiny excuse to basically protest and riot. I'm going to be honest with you. I do think that um, those businesses that were basically burned and uh, looted, uh, at least four out of the six had uh, documented issues with people within the community, and in particular, the uh, gas station where uh, one of the employees uh, had an issue with the, some black customers and went outside and started firing uh, a weapon. Uh, fortunately, he didn't hit anybody. That supposedly got resolved uh, between the community and the owner to the point that people who it wasn't resolved with uh, last night took the opportunity to attack that gas station and burn it but there were other people in the community that helped get the employees that were inside of the gas station uh, got them out uh, safely and unharmed so I mean that that was a positive but um, again David Clark just loves putting his face in front of TV cameras now at least when he's on Fox he's getting paid but in this particular case he's not getting paid he just wants to mug for the cameras and uh, demonstrate that he has an overabundance of uh, confidence an overabundant opinion of himself is really what I'm trying to say and he just ain't that serious I just like I said in the past I wish that they would take that uniform away from his black ass, put a ball cap and a hoodie on him, and drop him in East Texas. And then we will see how much his white supremacist brethren love him. Because if we don't find him either lynched or buried somewhere, I will be greatly mistaken. Make sure it's East Texas. Uh, fairly near to the Louisiana border, you know, off of 20. And I'm telling you, uh, we won't be bothered with him again.